Hello and welcome to the Phasmid Farm. In today's video we're going to be talking about a very commonly kept species and probably one of my favourites that I've got at the moment. We're going to be looking at Peru Phasma Shultai, aka the Black Beauty Stick Insect, a gorgeous species coming from Peru. But before we get into this video I just want to say a huge shout out to my friend Lizzie for giving me, well basically her whole colony of Peru Phasma and we're going to be setting them up now. So. There will be a link to um, Lizzie's channel in the pinned um, in the pinned comment, but yeah. So let's go through what I'm using for this enclosure. I'll be using um, a glass jar, a 60 by 40 mesh cage, although you probably don't need one that size. It's just because I've got a rather large colony at the moment and some paper towel, which I'll be using as a substrate base layer just for ease of cleaning and so I can spot over when it's laid. Um, although you can also use substrates, um, loose substrates such as um, cocoa fibre, potting soil, anything like that so it holds humidity. Um, but they are over droppers so they don't need substrate so to speak. So let's get into the setup video shall we? Yeah, I'm sorry for the mess. This cage has previously been used by Lepidoptera species, which is why it looks very dirty, because as anyone that knows, anyone that kept that's kept moths, they poo everywhere. And the poo, no matter how hard you try and get it out, always sticks to the mesh. But for this, I'll just be using a base layer and we'll carpet the bottom. So let me get that done and then I'll show you the after product. So now that's been added, we're just going to spray it down so it has a quick base layer of humidity so we can get all that humidity to rise. Next up, we're going to be adding their food plant from their old enclosure, which has still got some water in there and it's still pretty fresh. I'm just using privet for this species, but you can use um, honeysuckle and many others if the food plant will of course fit. And it's important to have a lot of it for this species because they do seem to enjoy eating a lot of food. So I privet there. It is still pretty um, fresh obviously, but we are going to be adding a few species just in. Oh, the food plant has been dropping because this species seems to eat the stem quite a bit. And now let's add all of them in, shall we? So, starting off with the first one, we've got a stunning sub-adult male, as you can see there. And let's put him in, shall we? Uh, next up, uh, we will go for my adult, or sub-adult female even. And she is here. She's quite a lot, oh, she's quite a lot heavier bodied than the rest of the others in there. But they're once again a stunning species. And I'm going to add in my adult males but I'll just time lapse this because there's so many of them. So here's my P female PSG 270, an absolutely stunning species as you can see. Um, I just wanted to grab this quick shot of her just while she sat still. The males are all wandering around, so you might see some in the background, or maybe not. But, let's get up, let's get to the outro, shall we? Well, as you can see, that's that enclosure done. I will spray them down regularly with water just to maintain humidity, because as I said before, they are from Peru, and you can tell from the name Peru Phasma Shultai, meaning, well, basically, Phasma from Peru. Um, they're in the same family as many other species. They're in the f uh, subfamily Pseudophasmatinae, so they're related to things like the Autolyca, uh, the Autolyca species, um, Pseudophasma species, and stuff like that. But, yeah. Just before we go, I would like to put out a plea asking for anyone who has Adult females, I'm in desperate need, as you can tell. I only have one female in there, and there's eight males. Eight males. That poor girl. Hey. Oh, hello. Yeah, and this here is, of course, the Eurocanthor that you see in many other videos. 
and she's very content just to chill. But, sorry, I'm getting off topic here. But yeah, I would absolutely love more females of this species, so if anyone could let me know, I'd be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe, and please don't forget to check out Lizzie's channel in the pinned comment, um, where I've been to film some collabs together in the future. But yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.